Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Y'all know what time it is. It's coffee time. Man, boy, good and hot. Pray everybody feeling blessed this morning. It's another day in the Lord, man. Another day to press forward. Another thing to reach for the hope. The Lord is set before us. Minister Brown. Uh, definitely want to thank y'all for joining me. This is coffee time. Coffee time is the time of the day. And we enjoy a good cup of joe. A great word of exhortation from the Lord. Uh, <coughs> ooh. This morning, man, we're going to be coming out of 1 Timothy chapter 4. With me, you can shoot there in your Bibles. It's First Timothy chapter four. Uh, yesterday we talked about uh, the provocation. The provocation is a time in the wilderness where it says that you know, children of Israel they provoke the Lord, they provoke the Lord to anger. Man, they refuse to. You know, believe God for the many wonderful works that He was showing them. You know, they uh they did not intend to the land that God promised because of unbelief. Came out of Hebrews. Hebrews what? what that is? Hebrews chapter three yesterday. Hebrews chapter three and went into the top of uh chapter four. So he says uh, in verse 3, chapter, uh, verse 3, excuse me, Hebrews 3, chapter 3 and 12. He says, take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. An evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. That's amazing how uh, I mean God doesn't change You know man doesn't change You know what I mean God's been dealing with Mankind You know what I mean <laughs> for, for a long time For many generations of Men have been upon the face of the earth Man you know what I mean So uh Lord said there's nothing new up under the sun, man. You know, man has been departing from the Lord in the same sense. You know what I mean? Even since, you know, he re revealed himself. You know what I'm saying? From the very beginning, all the way back to Adam. You know what I mean? Adam departed from the faith. But Adam was not deceived. I don't understand these things. But man, we're going to... We're going to look to uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, and we're going to look to verse 1. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. And doctrines of devils. Seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Now this is this is this is uh the apostle Paul here. You know what I mean? This is and this is generation this is after Christ. This is generations, this is so far from you know what was done in the wilderness, you know what I mean? Uh where the Lord delivered the the children of Israel from out of Egypt. But we see that this seducing spirit and these doctrines of devils, you know what I'm saying? These are the things that 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 the children of Israel were up against as well. As I told you, man, you know, the Lord said that he he hardened Pharaoh's heart. You know what I mean? To make him uh not to believe him, to cause him not to believe him, because what 
you know, Pharaoh was plagued when the plague came upon Egypt, man. You know, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, uh, you know, he sent for Moses, man. He repented, you know, and, and he said, man, you know, take the children and go. But then it says that God hardened Pharaoh's heart, you know what I'm saying? Now, the hardening in the wilderness, you know what I mean, that evil heart of departing from the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's telling us to take heed. And here he is, you know, Paul speaking the same things. Saying that the Spirit speaketh expressly. You know what I'm saying? He's saying these things. The Lord is speaking. He says, in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Now, let me see. That hardening and that heart of unbelief, man, you know what I'm saying? Man, as I said, man, you know, uh, Satan is is a great copycat, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, his, his, his whole goal is to, 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 to snatch us up out of Christ, you know what I'm saying? He wants to snatch us up out of the truth, you know what I mean, and, and, and uproot us. He wants to kill you. You know, as you why 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 you're a babe. You know, all these things coincide with everything we've been talking about from last last week, even on to this time, man. That we have to grow. You know what I'm saying? And all of that is given right here in this passage of scripture. We're gonna get to it, but uh, he says, "Take heed, also, even as the the the, the scriptures yesterday told us to take heed to the things that happen in the wilderness." Lest there be in us a heart of unbelief and departing from the Lord. This is what the heart of unbelief does. It causes us to depart from the Lord, to depart from the truth. You know what I mean? It says uh, in the scriptures, it says that, you know, uh, that a man is drawn away in only, only by his own, only by his own lust, by his own desires. You know what I'm saying? It says, say in your heart that God, God does not tempt any man, neither is God tempted. And this is out of the book of James. James. Let's get us some scripture here. You know, I touched on this earlier, but uh, earlier, well, that might have been last week. Okay, it says, James chapter 1. It says, blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempteth he any man. It says, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away. Of his own lust and enticed. Every man is tempted when he is drawn away. God does not draw you away. It's Satan that draws us away. He tries to lure us away, as the words as as, as we just read in uh, Timothy four one. This is what seduction does. You know what I mean? Seducing spirits, they will seduce you. You understand? Seduction. Uh, seduction is. You know, men's men. There, there's an art to seduction. There's even a book that's called a, the Art of Seduction, man. You know what I mean? And basically, you know, seduction is the art of drawing one to you. You know what I'm saying? Enticing one. You know, woman. You know, seduce men all the time. Men seduce women. You know what I mean? Charm. Good looks, things like that, man. You know what I'm saying? These things, you know, they tempt, they draw attention, you know what I mean? People's beauty, you know what I'm saying? So what happens is these spirits, they begin to they begin to make wickedness look look desirous to us, you know what I mean? They begin to to make the truth look like you know the way of the Lord look like, 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 uh, like it's evil. 
You know what I mean? To begin to cause us to, to put forth judgment against God in our hearts and in our minds. Like, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is, you know, forsaking me, man. You know, the Lord don't care about me, man. You know what I'm saying? This is what these seducing spirits, they try to draw us away from the way of the Lord. They tell us it's too hard, you know, because we can't see the way of the Lord with our own understanding. We can't feel the way of the Lord with our emotions. We feel, you know, abandoned, you know what I'm saying? It seems like, you know, it's not by sight. It's not by our understanding. It's by faith. You understand what I'm saying? And this is why the word says that, man, some shall depart from the faith. In the same mm -hmm. manner that, you know, these 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 people uh, departed from the faith, you understand, in the wilderness, during the provocation. They departed from, it's, it's, it's by faith the scriptures say that they all came through the Red Sea. But it says that, man, not all of them went into the promised land, right? Because they provoked the Lord because of the heart, their heart of unbelief. They were seduced. You understand? They were seduced. These seducing spirits, they still doing their thing from the beginning. And the doctrines of devils, teachings of devils, these are the lies that come from Satan. This is his teaching. The Lord said that Satan is the father of lies. He is the father of it, right? So, you know what I'm saying? When we leave the truth, when we forsake the truth of God to, 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 to go into... Uh, you know, to begin to, to, to follow after the, the lie of Satan, then we have been seduced. We have been overcome by the same the same the same spirit that that that, that overcame uh, Adam. Adam was, you know what I'm saying, uh Adam, Eve, they were they were they, they, they gave themselves to the to the teaching of the devil. You understand? The Bible says that the just Shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Even when we get into the faith, man, this is not the, it's not just coming to Jesus. It's it's, it's remember what, what what Hebrews uh three said yesterday, man. He said that man, if we hold the content the the the, the uh the beginning of our confidence, the beginning of our hope firm to the end. Firm to the end means you no know saying we're going through this fire. You understand what I'm saying? This thing, this thing is gonna purge us. It's gonna purge our faith because what the fire does, that fiery trial, man, it begins to burn off the impurities of your faith. It begins to burn off, you know what I'm saying, your understanding. Because faith has nothing to do with your understanding. You'll be trying to figure everything out and figure why I'm in this situation and this and that, but it's God that has planted you there. You understand what I'm saying? It's God that has put you in that situation for the trial of your faith. That he can bring you out. That he can purge your faith. You know what I'm saying? Purify your faith. By whatever it is that you're going through. But because people don't like the fire. You feel what I'm saying? Imagine Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they seen that fire. You know what I mean? And when, it, when, when they saw the king wasn't playing with them. Imagine what I'm saying? When they got bound. When they went to bow. Okay, okay, okay. We'll bow down. We'll bow down. We'll bow down. We, 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 the Lord ain't saved us yet. He didn't come when we thought, we thought surely the Lord wasn't going to let us go into the, to the, to the pit. You know what I mean? But these men were willing to die for what they believe. Therefore, their faith, their faith was made whole. You understand what I'm saying? That testimony that God gave them, that he delivered them in the midst of that fiery fiery, fiery flame, that fiery furnace. You understand? That fire was real. The fire was real. But the fire did not come to destroy Shadrach, Mejak, and Abednego. Though the king thought that it would. But their faith, their faith was purged by that fire. You understand? So we... In our understanding, man, we saw that Adam and Eve were given one commandment from God. They were given one commandment. God said, don't eat from this tree. And the day that you eat from this tree, you should surely die. Right? 
the devil said totally contrary to what God said. Ye shall not surely die. He called God a liar. Ye shall not surely die. This is what Satan said. So you have the doctrine, the truth of God. And you have the doctrine of the devil. The teaching of the devil. And this is just how simple it is. So Satan has so many doctrines out here, man. His teachings is all in the world, man. The world embraced the teachings of Satan, right? We so quick to embrace what Satan talking about because a lot of time we don't even know that that's Satan saying it. Because we hear from the, from the world. We hear the world all the time. People don't want to hear what God talking. They don't want the truth, right? We'll throw some, 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 uh, you know, Drake, man, we got all these ministers, man. When I was in the world, man, I was Scarface, Tupac, uh, you know, Ghetto Boys, this, that. And it seemed like they speaking truth because they rapping about a lifestyle that I'm living. A lifestyle that I can relate to. But, man, these men would not, you know, they, they weren't followers of Christ. These men weren't telling me to, you know what I'm saying, hey, man, man, you need to get up out them streets, man. You know what I'm saying? They talking about what I'm doing in the streets. They strengthening me in my sin. You feel me? They telling me that 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 the streets was the way. The pistol was the way. The dope was the way, man. You know what I'm saying? This is this is the concept that came from from Satan, and this is why 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 we stay. Why we're bogged down in this world, man, because we're, 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 we're stuck with a sinful nature. You know what I'm saying? We're stuck with a sinful nature. We, 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 we don't come to God because we don't trust God. You feel what I'm saying? We don't believe. I'm not calling to God. It shows forth that we don't believe. I knew of God. I knew of God when I was out in the streets. I knew of him. I thought I knew him, you know what I'm saying? I prayed to him, things like that, man. But I ain't know, I ain't want to hear nothing, God. The Bible, sit down and read. I tried, when I tried, it's like, it was, it was like, man, I tried art thou this, I couldn't get, I couldn't get into it. And the word of God, man, this is a, this is, this is a word, man, that opens up. You know what I'm saying? God gives us a gift that his word comes alive to us. We can hear the word. Faith comes by hearing. You can hear the word of God, right? The word of God can begin to tug at your heart. This is what God said, man. Today, he said, heart, not your heart, man. And I remember even back then, man, heart, the hardening of my heart so much, man. You know, I sit in, the, I'll be like, dang, I need to go up there, man. You know, I know I need some prayer, man. Man, partners, man, man, I had a bunch of partners that was dying in the streets, man. You know what I'm saying? And I knew it was real. I thought I would, I, I, I could have died out there, man. Plenty of times, plenty of times, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting in church like that, man. I need to go up there. You know what I'm saying? But I heart my heart. I heart my heart because I felt like. I, I really didn't know what the Holy Spirit was. All I thought the, I thought the Spirit was just, you know, jumping around in the church. Once you give your life to God, then you have to do everything by your power to 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 not do the things that you was doing before. I didn't know what deliverance was, man. I didn't know that. I didn't know that God would give me the the power that God would come into this church. I didn't know what the renewing of my mind, renewing of my heart was. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know the power of God, man. I didn't know the power of God. And this is this is what keeps us at bay. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't know the power of God. It was me thinking that, dang, man, I got to stop doing this. And I ain't feel no power within myself. I ain't feel no power within myself to stop, do, to, to walk away from a lifestyle that had engulfed me. You know what I'm saying? A lifestyle that was had, had, had become prosperous to me. You know what I'm saying? Even with all the pains and all the, it, it it was a lifestyle that, you know what I'm saying, I begin to understand. A lifestyle that begin to put shackles on me, you know what I'm saying? So, 
going forth is 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 the truth that comes from God. It's the truth, you know what I'm saying, that we 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 have to begin to yearn for, man, because the world and Satan and all his seduction, man, his his teachings is all over the world, man. It's all over the radios. You know what I mean? It's all over the radio, all over the TV, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right now, you know, even even with the the uh, the LGP, the yeah, the 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 agenda, the gay agenda, man, that they pushing. You understand what I'm saying? And they make this seem as if it's a truth. It's as if everybody should accept this. You know what I'm saying? As if you know everybody have rights, and and this is the cunningness of Satan. You know what I'm saying? Satan, he has the gift of gab. He is a liar from the beginning, and Satan deals on emotions. He deals on emotions. He don't deal with the truth. You feel what I'm saying? He deals with 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 the sensual. You know what I'm saying? That ah, uh, yeah, love is love. You know who can tell if they in love? Let them be in love. Forget what God said. Forget that, you know what I'm saying? There's no fruit that can possibly come into the earth through this union because God did not, you know what I'm saying, make this union. Like, forget all that. Throw all that out the window and let's just deal in the sensual of how, man, you got to put yourself in their shoes. What if somebody told you you can't love who you want to love? And this is how Satan works. Seducing. He's a devil, man. Man, until Satan begin to speak, guess what? The tree in the Garden of Eden, the tree in the Garden of Eden, man, it looked like death. It looked like just what God said it was, death. Until Satan opened his mouth, and he began to say, it began to look like something desirous to eat, man. Because he lied. Because he lied, man. You know what I'm saying? So... Going on, man. He says, these doctrines of devils, he says, verse 2, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with the hot iron. He says, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. Now, these are some of the doctrines that that that, that the devils, you know, man, you got different sects of religion that, that's, that's on these things. In the Catholic Church, you know what I'm saying, they forbid to marry. You know what I'm saying? They forbid the priests like they couldn't take wives. This is why it was so much homosexuality going on with these priests in the Catholic churches. You know what I'm saying? They tell them that they couldn't take wives. They had to give themselves to the Lord. That ain't no way in scripture. And then you find out that half of these priests was messing with the little boys in the, in the church or whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not a God forbidden to marry. Commanded to abstain from meats. It's, a, it's, a, it's another sect of religion that say that you can't eat meats. You should only eat plants. You know what I'm saying? Why would you eat a, a animal that God created? You feel what I'm saying? These are lies that Satan has, you know what I'm saying, brought into the church because of that, that old sensual. Because without the truth, without getting in this word ourselves, man, Satan could spin us any which way. You know what I'm saying? But when we hear the truth from God and we know the truth, then Satan got to tug a little harder. He got to tug a little hard at your understanding. That's why he try to kill you while you obey. He try to take you out the game. You feel what I'm saying? And make you high. I knew it wasn't nothing to this Bible. I knew it wasn't nothing to this word here. And this is after God has revealed himself to you. See, the people, the people, man, when we talk about that mixed multitude that came out of Egypt, man, they saw the work of the Lord, man. And when you begin to see the work of the Lord, man, and when you begin to see, you know, people that you knew that was a whole different way before you, that, and you start seeing these people start talking about, hey, man, praise the Lord, man. And these, these people just on fire for God, man. Man, that's the work of the Lord, man. People don't want to see that, though, because then the guy said, man, what happened to dude, man? But Phil ain't the same no more, boy. That Joe, hey, he, 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 he different, man. I feel, you feel what I'm saying? But these things come with the revelation of Christ. When Christ begin to reveal himself to you, man, man, you begin to, hey, this ain't nothing in this, it, it, this ain't no fairy tale here. You begin to understand when I, when I begin, when the God Lord came to me, man, and begin to change me, 
Well, see, other people, they thought it was, they thought it was, yeah, feeling, doing, yeah, bro, you got to, you know what I mean? They had questions, but, you know, it's like, they don't see God. They's like, oh, Phil, boy, Phil did this, right? But Phil, my testimony, I know who did it. I ain't do this. God did. All I did was fall on my knees. I cried out to God. I was tired, man. I was tired, man. I was tired of the devil laughing at me. You understand what I'm saying? I was tired of, you know what I'm saying, just, just, and I knew he was playing me. He had played me, man. And then, you know, I'd be sitting there like, and I ain't had no power against him. Right? God is the power. God is that power that's against the devil, man. But, man, the truth, these are lies. He says, they are commanding us to abstain from meats. You know, you hear, see a person eat some bacon. You know what I'm saying? I can't eat bacon. What well, say I can't eat bacon in the Bible? Yeah, we could go back to the beginning, but you got to look to the word of God, man. You feel <laughs> I mean, you you have to, what do you say, man? Milk is for those that are unskillful in the word of God, man. You ain't going to come and tell me I can't eat no bacon, man. You understand what I'm saying? Because God says right here, he says, verse 4. These people come, let's let's read it again from three. He says, Forbidden to marry and commanded to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified, set apart. By the word of God in prayer. Set apart by the word of God in prayer. God told God told uh Noah at one point, everybody was, you know, up until Noah, God said, Man, every animal was good to eat. You know what I'm saying? Till the law came. And God said, Don't eat this, don't eat that, don't eat this, right? The new covenant came. You feel what I'm saying? Now, my grandmother you know, we could say that, you know, oh, this is the results of high blood pressure, this, that, boom. My grandmother ate the pig from the rooter to the tutor, man. This was very holy woman, sanctified, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, man, I knew my grandmother when I was in my wretchedness, man, you know what I'm saying? And and this woman, hey, yeah, she certified in the faith, man. But, man, my grandma lived to be 103 years old. You understand what I'm saying? Get up with the daggone chickens. Like I said, man, laundry on the lines, this, that, man, listen, man. So all of these things, I, 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 I know the truth. I'm like, hold up, I got, I got references here now. You know, um, it, 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 it. okay. So you ain't tell me, man, that a pig is going to defile me. He says, not what goes into you that the defiles you. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the heart that's in you, what comes out of a man. Those are the things that defile a man. It ain't the bacon you eat. <laughs> For real. He said, that's going to come out in the toilet. You know what I mean? But he says, if thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou should be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine. He says, whereunto thou hast attained. He says, but refuse profane and old wise fables and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. And this is what, what, what the world is quick to jump on, man. These these profane and these old wise fables, man. You know, they jump on these things so quick, man. Like I said, man. The, 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 and this is nothing more than the doctrine of devils. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? These old fairy tales, these wild fables, and you know what I'm saying? This old spirituality junk, you know what I'm saying? Baking cakes and all this stuff for dead people going to hang out in the grave. All this stuff, man. This stuff ain't, ain't no power in that stuff, man. Man, they're, they're, All that stuff is the, attached to, to the demonic realm, man. You understand? None of that stuff is new. All that stuff is... Presented in the Bible, God addresses all of these things right here in the truth of the Word of God. But people come up, stumble on these things, and think it's some new stuff. And oh yeah, yeah, I'm 
Um, yeah, man, I'm I'm spiritual. I'm not a Christian. I'm I'm spiritual. You know, I'm with Mother Nature and all this other stuff, man. That like, where you getting this from? What book is the what what book is? I mean, come on, man. But we give ourselves wholly to it. But he says, man, refuse these profane and old wise fables, and exercise ourselves rather unto godliness. It says, for bodily exercise profiteth little. But godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. He says, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. It says, for therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God who is the Savior of all men. Especially of those that believe. Let me say that again. Faithful saying. Worthy of all acceptation. For therefore we both labor. And suffer reproach. We suffer reproach. We labor. We suffer reproach. Why? Because we. Trust. In the living God. We trust in the living God. This is why Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, they were willing to, to suffer. You know what I'm saying? The result of, of that fire. Because they trusted in the living God. They were not finna go against their understanding. To try to save themselves. And bow down. In, 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 you know what I'm saying? Dishonor God. They knew better. They knew better. Therefore, their faith... Because they knew better, their faith was put on trial. That understanding that they had, it was put on trial. And the Lord saved them out of that situation. The Lord saved them out of that situation, man. When we trust in the living God, when you have the truth, man, your, your trust and your, your faith is going to be tried by fire. The trial of your faith, man. This is what we have to remember because this is what a seducing spirit, this is what Satan, his his doctrine is coming in to try to, you know, tear you away from the truth. When you're suffering. Oh, well, I'm not healed yet. You know what I mean? And I'm trusting in God. You know, God ain't did it yet. I guess, you know, uh, I guess, it, 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 you know, he did. man, that devil, man, we can't talk to devils, man. Man, you got to cast some things down. Because all he comes to do is, he he comes to bring you into unbelief. He comes to bring you into unbelief. He comes to tarnish your faith. That's all Satan does. He comes down here, he 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 he, he wasn't, you know, God ain't want him up there because he, he, man, he did some some goofy junk, tried to take take over the up there. God wasn't having it, kicked him out, came down here to the earth, tarnish the earth, tarnish man. You know what I'm saying? This is what he does. He wants to tarnish your hope, tarnish, you know what I mean, your faith. And he wants to bring you into to, to submission to his will. And make you think that it's your will, that you're free. That you're really just in bondage to, to, a, to a demon that's going to hell. That's it. Bodily exercise, man. This goes back to what we talked about last, last week, man. He says body, bodily exercise, it profits little, man. But a man that is seeking to, 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 to get his body in shape, man, guess what? He's going to make time. He's going to make time. He's going to, once you start, you know, you get a week or two into your, your workout, man, man, start seeing that little cut coming in, in, in your chest, you know what I'm saying? Oh, boy, I'm broken up a little. Oh, he's going to go harder. He encouraged now. You know what I'm saying? This is the same thing, though. He says, man, we have to exercise ourselves onto godliness. That we be strong in the Lord our God. That we be strong. Like, 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 like when a plant takes root, it says, be rooted in Christ Jesus. When we are rooted in Christ Jesus, man, Satan got, man, go outside and try to pull, pull, pull something that's been rooted in the ground. That done taken root in the ground, man. And you'll see, man, it, it, it ain't as easy, man. Once you done took root, boy, you gotta sort of put some. So tug into it, man, because the life of that tree is 
is in the root. And that root is taking, holding on to life. You know what I'm saying? He ain't just gonna lay down his life, man, because you try to try to pull, but you're gonna you gonna get some resistance. And this is what happens as we grow and as we become rooted in Christ, man. Man, you ain't gonna be it, 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 it's not gonna be uh so easy to for the devil to seduce you. You understand? You're gonna rebuke, you're gonna learn to fight, and this is the fight of faith. You know what I'm saying? This is what we up against, seducing spirits, the lies of the devil. You know what I'm saying? Boldness, Paul also prayed for. Boldness to speak. Boldness to speak as the spirit gives us utterance. Because there's going to be some people, man, that's, 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 that's not going to want to hear you. There's going to be some people that's going to want to curse you out. There's going to be some people that's going to want to, you know, talk bad about you, try to say, hey, you did that, boom, boom, boom. And all you do, you you bring the love of Christ, man. But God teaches us all how to be, you know what I'm saying, master fishermen, fishers of men. You know what I mean? It is an art. It's an art to it. Kind of the spirit. See, I will teach you. I will make you fishers of men. This is what Christ told, you know, Peter and him. And it's him who makes us Fishes of men, man. You know what I'm saying? Tell who makes us fishes of men. We don't have to be no, you know, radical out here. Oh, no, no, you hell fire, bro. Man, guess what? If we got to get out there and do it, if that's what God called us to do. You know what I mean? Well, you don't have to go at everybody head first. You know what I mean? Oh, God said don't, don't do this. Go. No, man. It's love. God is love, man. God is love, man. People already know how you moving, man. Man, you see how how the, how the spirit of God is. You know what I'm saying? How 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 other spirits, you know what I'm saying, reference the spirit that's in you. You feel what I'm saying? Even though they they may not reference God, right? But the spirit of God that's in you, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, there's people that you know what I'm saying. You know they 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 do what they do. They talk how they. Oh my bad, man. My, Nah, bro, my bad. What you my bad? <laughs> you got to my bad to me. But it's the spirit of God. You feel what I'm saying? That presence. And that's the thing with the world, man. The world is alienated from God. So that presence is not felt until, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the child of God, the one that's bearing the spirit of God, man, and they know it. Man, it's, it's, it brings the consciousness of the presence of God. It's, it's here, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the man thing. It's just because they know how you move. They know how you move. You feel what I'm saying? So, these things are key, man. These things are key in our walk. The devil is coming. He's coming in to, 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 to place in us a heart of unbelief, man. You know what I'm saying? He don't want us to believe in God. Because when we believe in God... We're growing in God. We're getting stronger in God. We're becoming a threat. We're becoming a threat. He don't want you. He like messing over you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he don't want to see you as a threat. You know what I mean? Nothing that can do any damage to his kingdom. You understand? When you're growing in Christ, and you, 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 you become a threat to Satan, his kingdom, because you had the truth. You have a, a fire burning within you, man. You know what I'm saying? The Spirit of God is burning within you, man. And it's the Lord. The Lord said, if I be lifted up, that I would draw all men unto me. It ain't never the, 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 the minister that's doing it. It's lifting up Jesus, man. When Jesus is lifted up, man, man, people coming. People coming. People coming, man. The broken... The, the the tough, the daggone, the, the, the weary, the sick, man, they coming. Cause they hear the they 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 hearing the truth, man. They're hearing the truth, man. And man, the truth is 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 that the light is what casts out darkness. Say you want to keep us in darkness. You want to keep us bound up in the in the darkness of our own world, away from God. Away from God, man. That's what Satan want to keep us at. In darkness. He says, man, that the the the, the world is 
is is is judged because they love darkness more than they love light. They would not come to the light. We are children of the light, man. Children of the light, man. We know the Lord. We know the God we serve, man. This is the business. We have to give ourselves wholly to the will of God. Because he got purpose for you. He got purpose for you, man. I love y'all, man. I pray this word fell not on deaf ears. Continue to keep me in prayer. As I keep you all in prayer. It's Tuesday. Go out. Have a blessed and prosperous day, man. I love y'all. God bless you all.